Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use JavaScript to display and hide the password inside the end product view. Here's a project that we're going to create it. So when I enter password, uh, you can write any text inside the end product field. When you click on the icon, I'm able to see the password is changed to uh, display as a text. When you click on that, this is a normal password. So let me show you how you can get it. So I go to my uh, code editor inside they have a basic structure of HTML and have a style.css script.js file. Also, I have a, a font awesome file because I will use that as an icon and have a style.css script.js. So let's get started to write the code. So the first thing is I'm going to create a wrapper class and say there I'm going to add that will be a form container. Then I'm going to add the form, leave the action and then I'm going to add the input type will be password placeholder I want to display the text as a password. Also I will add the class I will use that inside the JavaScript to display the text as a password and change to password as a text right so we're going to use this one so first i'm going to save that and open that in the live server then we're going to see the simple input text field has been appeared inside the code inside the browser the next thing i need to add that will be icon so inside there i need to add the class icons inside the icons div I will add the FA a regular and FA I this is the icon I icon so uh, let's check it now right now I'm able to see icon as my peer so I need to go on style.css to design that so I go to that and reset the property padding zero the margin will be zero box sizing border box and also i will add the font family will be poppins and also sans serif then i'm going to select the body i want to display the this one complete uh, section inside the center of the page so i will use display flex justify content will be center align item will be center and i need to use min height 100 vh and finally I will add that will be background will be a blue color uh, green color I think yes it is blue uh, green color right right then I need to select the form container inside there have an input text field so I need to use the border will be none padding top and bottom will be 1.2 RAM left and right 1 RAM width will be 500 pixel outline will be known and also i will add that will be border radius to round at the corners for them mm, four pixel is best uh, font size i will use 1.2 ram and then first i'm going to save that and let's check it now instead of it. right cool then i'm going to select the form container inside the have icon I want to display the icon like this one inside the input text field. So I need to select the icons there that is there and say they have a icon. So I need to select that and then I need to use the position will be absolute. Then you need to select the same thing but this time you need to select the icons I tag. Then you need to use position relative then you will able to see the icon has been appeared inside the input text field but i want to move this in the right side so i need to use the left will be 440 pixel and also i need to use top will be 20 pixel that should be displayed perfectly yes cool then i'm going to change the font size will be 2 ram and also i will use cursor pointer because i want to collect that inside input text field right but i think i need to change the top position the 18 is best by 
everything is clear on there so let's move on the javascript to you know, display and hide the path so the first thing is you need to create a const variable and get the value from the document or query selection then you need to select the icon class like this one fai and then i need to use the dot sign const the next thing you need to get the password element so document dot query selector then you need to select the input act field class like this one get that and press on there then i need to use the add event listener when user will click on that then i want to display the password and when user click again then i want to hide that so i need to select the btn dot add event listener uh, which event you will use click here and uh, run the function you can use this way let's check it now and say the console is key it's working or not then we're gonna work on that so so uh, let's check it now click on that it's working perfect so inside there i need to use the condition if the password element right the password element like this one the type is just a minute i'll leave the css because i don't need that the type is triple equal to is password then come into the if body and the if body i need to change the password element dot type will be text right so let me show you click on i'll write anything else click on that i'm able to see the text has been appeared is the text perfect then i need to first i'm going to show you another thing come to the log and i'm going to select the uh, btn so and write anything else click on that so i am able to see the icon class is up here inside there so i need to change that when the password is up here as a text then i want to change the icon name like cross icon right so i need to use btn dot class list dot replace so i need to replace that the first parameter you need to pass that will be you need to replace this one text and which text do you want to replace that so i need to use fa i slash so let me show you in the console right anything else click on that as you can see right and also i'm able to see the cross icon has been appeared inside there when i click again you can't see any changes inside there because i need to use else statement else and the else statement you need to use password element dot type will be password and also you need to use btn.classList.replace and you need to use same thing but this time you need to use the replace it like this way and the second parameter you need to pass on there will be this so uh, let's check it now and console me right click okay the also i'm gonna add that on there because you will understand better then okay so once i add the password click on that my icons class has been changed when i click again my icon class has been changed now and i'm able to see the open eye when i click on that this is the close eye so this is a very simple way to create a, a, a show and hide the password using html css and javascript so thank you very much for watching have a nice day